Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem. And the problem's name is find indices of stable mountains. In this question, there are n mountains in a row and each mountain has a height. We are given an integer array called height, where every element represents the height of a mountain. And we are also given an integer called threshold. A mountain is stable if a mountain just before it, if exists, has a height strictly greater than threshold. Note that mountain zero is not stable because there is no mountain before it to compare it with threshold. We have to return an array consisting of indices of all the stable mountains in an array. It's a simple question. We iterate through the array from the index position i because this is never going to be stable because there's no mountain height before it. So we start an iteration from here and we access the previous mountain's height and compare it with threshold. If it is satisfied, we add the index position of that particular mountain into the array. So coming to the question, this is the function name. We are given the height array and we are given an integer threshold. And we are also given an array list as the output. And we are also given a list as a return type. So let's create our result. I am going to name it result. So in this result, we are going to add the index position of the stable mountains. Now let's iterate through the height from the first index. Because like I said, there is no need to start with 0th index. So we start our iteration from i is equal to 1 until the end. So int i is equal to 1 i is less than height dot length plus now we take the previous mountain's height and we place the if check so to take the previous mountain's height you have height of i will give you the current mountain and minus 1 will give you the previous mountain if this mountain's height is greater than threshold strictly greater that is why i am using greater than and not greater than or equal to so check if that mountain's height is strictly greater than threshold we add the index position into the result. So index position is going to be i. So result.add of i. Now this will happen for all the mountains. And once you reach the end of the for loop, you come out and you return whatever is present inside the list result. So let's return it. Let's try to run the code. Uh, there's a typo here. Try to run the code. The test case are being accepted. Let's submit the code. So the time complexity of this approach is big of n. We are iterating through all the elements inside the site array. The space complexity is big of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. We are just initializing the output which is not counted towards the space complexity. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.